Evening guys, um, day 15, 16 of lockdown, really lost count now, um, but it's Good Friday, um, probably not good if you were Jesus, uh, looking back, um, I actually read, I've been doing some research on um, on, on Jesus for this, uh, this poem I'm about to read you, and um, I actually read that <clears throat> he was on the cross from nine in the morning, eventually when he uh, when he passed away at three in the afternoon I mean it's quite a long day that uh, no lunch break I'm presuming as well maybe I don't know um, so you know hats off to him for sort of putting up with it for that uh, that length of time um, <clears throat> just a little one for you um, what's the difference between a picture of Jesus and the real thing it only takes one nail to put up a picture of Jesus Okay, um, before I come on with the poem, I'm going to push on tonight. A big shout out to um, to the Leeds and England legend uh, Norman Hunter. He's actually suffering um, effects of coronavirus. It's a genuine shout out. So um, he's in hospital today. So big love, Norman. Let's hope you uh, you push through. I'm sure you will do. Um, okay, <clears throat> so I'm leaving the blog short tonight because. Um, it's a, it's a Good Friday special poem, and I've dedicated this poem to um, to Good Friday and Maundy Thursday, apparently. That's when the, the night of the Last Supper and what have you. So <clears throat> I, I, I thought I'd just do a little poem around that, and then Sunday I'm going to follow it up with the, the What Happens Next bit, you know. Um, so it's an Easter weekend, you know, so we should be rejoicing, you know, celebrating somebody's death. Anyway, this is the... Uh, the poem, and um, Mon, I actually learned today that I probably knew about three, sadly, three of the disciples' names, um, Peter and Matthew, and there's, there's loads more, but the one that did stand out for me was um, James, son of Zebedee. So, <clears throat> this, um, this poem is about the Last Supper and Good Friday, so happy Easter, everybody, and... Um, uh, is it Easter Sunday? I'm not sure, but anyway, happy Good Friday, everybody. Here's the poem. Thursday evening, 13 lads hanging out. Judas was in a right mood. Who's hungry, said Jesus. Come on, guys, let's nip out for some food. Have I time for a shower, said Matthew. Or are we in a hurry? Where are we going, said Peter. Quite fancy a curry. So the lads went to town, parked their donkeys on a metre, then took a real long table at the Jerusalem Happy Eater. They all sat down, Jesus at the head, his usual position, because the disciples liked to see his miracles, because he was a real top magician. Shall we order wine, declared Peter, or have we brought it? Just order water, said Simon. Jesus will sort it. Tonight, lads, says Jesus, one of you lot is going to betray me. Behave, said Simon, no chance. Okay, said Jesus. Let's wait and see. And then he got under the table. Come on, said Jesus. I'm hungry, let's eat. And then he got under the table and started washing their feet. The food arrived, a real simple affair. But 12 lads were starving. They didn't care. They couldn't eat all the food, try as they might. Except Jesus, Judas, who was quiet, he'd lost his appetite. The bread is my body, declared Jesus. The wine is my blood. The mayonnaise is mine. No, said Matthew. I don't think you should. Right, lads. Are we done, said Matthew. We've had more than our fill. I'll give the waiter a shout. He can bring us the bill. That's quite expensive, said Peter. But I suppose it's Easter. Price is rocket. I'll get it, said Judas. And pull a load of silver out of his pocket. <clears throat> Taxi, declared the waiter. In the name of Judas Iscariot. Right, boys, I'm going. And off he went in his chariot. That's odd, thought the disciples. He was off a bit handy. He's normally the last one to leave. Sat at the bar drinking brandy. Then the doors there burst open. Roman soldiers arrived. Uh, come with us, Mr Christ. Dead or alive. Were you taking him, Romans? Don't you know he's the boss? <laughs> For what he's been up to, he might end up on the cross. So Friday morning came, and what a kerfuffle. Jesus walked past, 
dragging a big cross at a shuffle. Peter was walking by soldiers, knocking on his door. Do you know Jesus? said the Romans. No, said Peter. Never met him before. All the crowds gathered at the hill. The best view there could clamour. Then they heard the joiners making a noise with three nails and a hammer. Next thing you know, Jesus is hoisted up into the air. Despite having nails in his feet, he just didn't care. Don't worry, said Jesus. Don't have no fear. It's not as bad as it looks, and I can see Mum's house from here. Don't go too hard on Judas for arranging this stunt. While you think he's a sly get, I think he's a kind, misled soul. Just think of the good times, lads. We had a good crack. And in the words of Schwarzenegger, he gasped, I'll be back. Happy Easter, guys.